Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have seen about the major border properties. In our today's video, we are going to see about the table properties. First of all, what are these table properties? These properties can be added to the tables that we have created with the help of HTML. The first table property is border collapse. Then we have border spacing. We have caption size, empty cells, and table layout. So these are the five properties that you can add to your table. Apart from these, you can also add all the border properties that are there to your table. The link for the border properties video will be linked in the card. You can go through it. So let us see what are these properties and how these are added to the table. So the first one was border collapse. Before adding CSS, let's add the HTML content first. HTML. I'm going to link the CSS style sheet here. After that, in order, in order to see the table properties, we need to create a table. I'll be creating a table of a 3 cross 3 over here by adding all the table tags. First, we're going to go with the T head. In the T head, TH. First row, I'll be adding name. Similarly, in the second row, I'll be adding the age. And in the third row, I'll be adding email. Save this. In the T body section, I'll be using the TR tags. Or better than that, I'll be just giving it as first row, first column. In the same way, replace other things as well. First row, second column, third row, second row, third column. In the same way, in the body tag as well, these will be replaced by TD. Now within the T foot, I'll be using the same thing right from the TR, paste it, and this will be the third row. Save it. Let us check in the preview tab as well. Show preview. Here we have our table. Since we have not added the border, you can also add the border in the style sheet. I'll be just using the table tag here. Table, border, one pixel, solid, and black. So you have the border. Now you can see that there is only a one border that is there. Why it is? Because we have the sub tags also here. So once if you want to add for the TH and TD as well. So you just have to give a comma. For the TH, now you can see that. Then for the TDs, now you can see you have a complete content for the table. So this is how you get the complete border. Now, as you can see here, this table has two borders. One for the normal thing and one for the THs and one for the THs and one for the TDs. So since if you don't want these two columns and if you want only one column, here you are going to use if you want to collapse the border, you have the property called as border collapse. And here you have collapse. Now you can see that there are only there is only one border and there is no double border available. So in the same way, you have another value for this that is separate, wherein you are going to get two two border lines. So all we need to do is a collapse. So this is one way how to collapse the border. Next you have border spacing so if you need certain space between the borders if it does not collapse if it does not collapse and if the value is separate and if you need certain border spacing more spacing between the borders then you can add the border spacing now you can see i just add 15 pixels you can see that the spacing has been done from all the sides if you want different different spacing, say for example, 15 pixels for one side and 50 pixels for the other two. Now you can see 15 pixels is towards the left and right of the columns and 50 pixels is for the top and bottom. So this is how you can use border spacing. The next one is you have the caption side. You can use whichever side of caption you want. So for my table, Inside the table tag, we have a, a tag called as caption. For this caption, I'll just be writing 
table one. So this is my caption that I have here. So inside the CSS, all you need to do is you just have to use caption site and you have a top, bottom, initial, inherent. These are the four properties that you have. So I'm just going to use a top. So it is at the top. If you want it at the bottom, then you can see it is going to get plug moved to the bottom. Then you have initial. Initial is in the initial state by default wherever it is, it is in the same place. Next is inherent. Inherent, this property is a from the parent element. If you have any parent element which is being added like top, bottom, so it is going to inherit from that particular parent element. So you don't have anything here, so I'll just be adding it as bottom. So let us save this one. So this is caption site for you guys. Next property that we have is empty cell property. Now, for example, if you have a particular table like this, and if you have a particular table like this, and you don't want anything inside this particular column or in that particular data, you can also make it as an empty cell, but that cell is not going to vanish from that. If you are going to simply remove that particular column from there, now you can see that there is no column. But I do need a column there, but I don't need anything inside that particular column. So in order to add empty cells, all you need to do is just remove this particular content from here. So you do have a cell. Now, if you want to show this cell or if you want to remove this cell or if you want to give some color to this cell, you can also do that. All you need to do is just go to your styling. Now, if you want to give a low color for this particular empty cells to show that that particular cell is empty. Now, what you have to do is, what you guys do is, you just go TD and we just give the background color to be as yellow. Now, you can see all the columns are yellow where you have TD, but I just wanted to give the color for this empty cell. So what I'm going to do inside this table, if there is any empty cells, you can just show them or you can hide them like this. So this is how you're going to hide or show your empty cells. Now we have hidden that particular cell. Now let us show that cell as well, but we are going to give a certain different color for that particular cell. So in order to give a different color, you need to do TD and whichever TD is empty, Whichever TD is empty, I want to give the background color for that as blue. Save it. So this is how you are going to create a particular empty cell. And if you want to give it some different or if you want to uh, different color or if you want to show that it is particularly it is empty with certain color, then you can use this particular EMPT pseudo, pseudo element. The next one we have is table layout. So what we are going to so whenever we have this table, this has its default size and default width. In the same way, if you want to add certain table layouts, if you want to specify the width, height, and length of your particular table, then you all you have to use is a table layout. Inside this table layout, you have auto, you have a fixed. So whatever the sizes will be there, it will be fixed. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just give it as auto, table layout auto, and I'll give width of this table will be 180 pixels. Now you can see that this table is 180 pixels of width and it is auto. Now if you are going to use it as a fixed, now you can see that it is a fixed to certain size. And let me just give here as it is going to get a fixed to that particular complete screen whereas auto will be it is going to show you or it is going to adjust itself automatically to whatever size that you are going to provide it is going to adjust itself whereas a fixed will be giving you the complete uh, complete content here let us see this in live server this is 
auto and when you use a fixed now this is a fixed it is not going to move at all and it is going to completely give you the proper size that you have asked for the proper size that you have asked for so these are all about the table properties meet you again in the next video till then keep learning and stay tuned bye bye